What up, y'all? Welcome to another Vintage Cube. We are playing a stipulation from Fragged Camper, and it is draft some aggro, power fixing, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. So, because we're drafting an aggro deck, I want to take Hazaret. But since you guys see a Ravages of War, and you're like, Ravages is so good in aggro, um, I'm going to take the Hazaret, because I think that card is just very good. There's also a Chain Lightning in that pack. That could come back. Chain lightning in that pack could come back. Oh, Hell Rider and Fiery Confluence? You're going to make me choose between my favorite children? I think we're taking Fiery Confluence, and I think Hellrider might come back. Mm. Mm. Okay, solid pack here. It could just be Dreadhorde Arcanist. Well, it's not an impressive creature on its own if we get like Lightning Bolt and the Chain Lightning come back. Come back. If the Chain Lightning come back, it could be good. Someone just said, someone just left me a YouTube comment and said, not a fan of deciding the stip after the draft fires. And I'm like, I'm not sure I understand that because like, there's so many there's so many stipulations where I'm like where it's like hey draft only tokens or draft angels and swords or like draft an aggro deck and there's so many times where like I have to have a specific card or like I have to see if a specific archetype is open before I do that and it's like why would anyone who's paying for a stip who wants me to like draft a specific deck like why would they want me to like be like okay guys we're going to draft this no matter what and then I don't see any of those cards and it's like oh well I didn't get to really do it because I didn't see any of the cards. You know, like, this actually could be a bad aggro deck. I don't even know. But I want to give myself the best chance of being able to fulfill the criteria. You know what I mean? Like, that just feels like it makes sense. Like, this has basically no aggro cards in it. A Johnny, what if we're, like, red-white? I'm going to take the Ajani. Like, if someone's paying me, like, 30 bucks to, like, to do a stipulation, and then I'm, like, Shut they're, like, draft, my money. they're, like, draft X, and I'm, like, okay, cool. And so, like, I try to do it, and then, like, I see none of those cards. And it's just, like, oh, oh, all right, sorry. Do I do it again? Do I try again? You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like I'm setting myself up to succeed in that, in that, in that situation where it's, like, Cabal and I have not done yours yet. Because, I mean, uh, we can do that. We'll do yours today. Oh, uh, Glorybringer seems good here. S. Corbett, Eldrazi Big Mana Time. You must take an Eldrazi or a 7 plus converted mana cost card when, when possible. Exceptions for power, pseudo power, ways to cheat the most big. F oh, man, I love it. These are just like my favorite, though. I just want to play all the big fatties. I'm gonna just take all the red cards. Hey Frank, can I pay you thirty dollars? Not for a stip, just because. You know what? I'll allow it. Is Karn aggro, guys? I don't know. Probably not. I think we're just red white. Let's just be red white aggressive deck, and we'll take the Oblivion Ring. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> not for a stip or anything but sometimes badger just donates because it gives him infinite like uh suggestion clout and i'll be drafting he'll just be like take the elf and i'll be like ah oh, damn it all right i'll take the elf god i don't want to but it's badger so i don't really have a choice you know he's like the boss at your job you know like sometimes you're just like well i don't agree with it and i don't really want to do it but it's your you're the boss so gotta take it Student of Warfare. Shut up and take my money. 
<laughs> just because. Just because. Those are just... That's uh, that's actually just an investment. It's just an investment in the future elf, elf picks. Badger, I love you, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to take Student Warfare, even though it sucks. But it is more aggro. And, like, the thing is, like, when I was starting, the stipulation was either white or red. So I don't really see a super big problem with playing white and red, I guess. I do hope to get a good amount of fixing, like a plateau, perhaps. Swords is not, swords is like the opposite of aggro. I don't want to give them life. Badger, thank you, my dude. I appreciate you. S. Corbett, thank you as well, my dude. I appreciate you guys. Would you say he has crooked Frank glasses, badgers you into a pick? I think Badger would say that as the, as the king of uh, dad jokes. Soulfire is good, but this card gets things out of the way. I gotta take the swords. Guys, Ravages came back. Is Hellrider gonna come back? Probably not. Probably not, no. Say you appreciate me so chat as a whole doesn't feel left out. Hossmania, I appreciate you. I don't know why all of chat would feel left out. But, you know, I guess I... That's a fine ride that hell we couldn't the hell nick why did you decide to stay just because i was like nick don't leave you were like all right cool man that was so easy i'm so i'm so glad that i chose to make you stay suck on that nerds i didn't even have to do anything <laughs> you guys are monsters i want to make a new twitch account called rpg mushroom and meme with you is that a i don't get it is that a thing Guys, I want you to look on the splendor that is Armageddon and Ravages of War in our deck. I saw her today at the reception. Badgers and mushrooms? Is that a thing? Is that the, is that the meme where the badgers are like this? Am I doing it right? Is that the, is that the same thing? <laughs> oh my god, yes. Okay, see, I got it. I know, I'm hip, guys. I was around when the internet was here. I'm gonna take Mock Sapphire, even though this is the land we want. It's not. We want untap lands, but it's still Mock Sapphire. And guys, we're trying to play Ravages and Armageddon. Like, have you done little big boys yet? Yeah, I thought it went up on YouTube like today, my dude. Come on, Philly Dilly. Get it together. It was actually pretty sweet. I enjoyed it a lot. It is only a twenty-year-old meme. Yeah, it's like it's from the it's from the, when the internet first was born. Oh, Dak Faden's real good. That's not aggressive at all, though. But neither is like Emiria Angel. Incinerate. Let's take Incinerate. God, we took Incinerate over like Dak Faden. What the fuck? That's that ain't right. Badger Mushroom is some Web 1.0 stuff. It really is. Along with the Mario twins. Shiggity shiggity swag. Swag? Shiggity shiggity. What are they? You know. You know. This dude is aggressive AF. It's not. Swig. Swig. Uh, I think it's Lightning Bolt over Zealous Conscripts, actually. Like, Bolt goes well with Dreadhorde Arcanist and, uh,. I don't want to... I, I think we're good on five drops in our aggressive deck, so... Sacred Foundry. That's pretty nice. We also don't have any equipment yet, so... I'm just going to take the land. <coughs> but if you try sometimes... I don't know why this song is stuck in my head. Swimming into Ocean? Oh, we're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Oh, Candy Mountain. Oh, going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Look at my horse. This horse is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like raisins. Oh, God. Goblin Guide, Lightning Strike, or Thalia? Huh. I think it's Dahlia. 
Goblin Guide? Four for Goblin Guide? Oh my goodness gravy. In this deck? In this economy? At this time of year, concentrated in your kitchen, Aurora Borealis. I think it's Thalia. I'm trying to blow up lands, but Goblin Guide's going to fill their hands with lands. Oh, Magus of the Moon? You don't, think, you don't think Thalia is aggro? Come on. Moon him and doon him. That sounds about right. Oh, Boros Signet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Goblin Guide? Oh, yes. Actually, ooh. Goblin Guide or Koth? I think it's Goblin Guide here. Yeah, it's definitely Goblin Guide. We have a Mox. Needle Spires came back? Oh, baby. <clears throat> you can blame it all on me. I was wrong. Did I call Rabble Master Goblin Guide? Say what? Did I say Goblin Guide? When I took Rabble Master? Is that what happened? That sounds like some real strokey shit. Like, I need to probably go see a doctor if I did that. Oh my god, why would I do that? That's wild. It's probably stress. Oh, they spoiled Goblin Guy for... For double, double master seems insane and I'm not sure if it's in a good way or not I'm really not it's just it's too much man you just think all goblins look alike god damn <clears throat> I think it's stoneforge and if, if we get like batter skull dude this set is wild they also have the bad... I don't like this Goblin Guide art that they included in Double Masters. Arkham Dagson. <clears throat> what the fuck? Oh, look. Guys. Guys. We did it. We did it, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Goblin Guide? Goblin? Goblin. That's pretty funny. Oh, Goblin Guide? Oh, yes. Actually, ooh. Oh, why did I call it that? That's really disconcerting. I feel like I have to go to the doctor now. It's going to be real sad when you open your like $35 collect your your $35 mythic uh your double masters pack and you get like Godo Bandit Warlord and Savage Salvage Titan, right? <clears throat> it's going to be not ideal. Oh, Bonfire? Oh man. It has Sun Titan so Stoneforge is being reprinted in this set. Wow. Nailed it. Can I get a high five, somebody? Oh, yeah, we did it. Oh, we did it, boys. Oh, wow. <clears throat> we did it. Dun, 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 dun. Turn one goblin guide, guys. Wait, why'd you take the load? <laughs> That's not a great... It's like the most aggressive card in the cube. I can pump out three one drops. And you're like, I don't think that's good. Tron lands are common? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's insane. This set is insane. Atraxa, Brea... It's like it has all the like the rare cards from the commander sets. <clears throat> oh, Sword of Feast and Famine. We have a Stone Forge. That could be Dece. I think it's probably better than Zergo. I'm gonna take Hazaret out. I don't think we're gonna be activating Hazaret. Whew. 
I mean, Council's Judgment's probably the pick here, right? Like, I mean, Grim Lava Mancer's fine, but he'll also probably come back. I don't think it's Orzhov or Wall of Omens. Ziri? What is Ziri? Grim Goblin Mancer. <laughs> Zergi? I don't know what Zergi is either. Oh, Grim Monolith. Are we a young Pyromancer deck? I don't think so, right? We got one. Oh my god! <coughs> Can someone look and see how I grabbed Ravages of War and tried to move it over and then it put young Pyromancer in my pile? the actual worst I don't think it's good in our deck it's literally like six spells oh god I think it is Tithe Taker it just shuts off more of their mana, which is good. I don't think it's balance. Ugh, God, you suck. I don't even want you in the deck, man. If this was non-creature, if this was like prowess, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Let's take Blade Splicer. Yeah, Bomat's fine. I mean, but... Uh, I do think we want more, like, middle creatures... deck i don't think so right i got one. Oh my god you can see me i my, my my mouse never goes up to the top area i click on i click on the ravages and when i start dragging it it's dragging the young pyromancer jitte seems very good progenitus that's actually not a bad idea hoss Mania, you're trolling today is is pretty solid man it's top tier uh, let's take Kithian. Maybe we take out a lot of these. Oh, yeah. Figure came back. That's balling. Just like you. Is that good or bad? Guys, I... <clears throat> I actually... I'm gonna... Hold on. I'm gonna clip this because it's actually on the perfect, uh... Hold on. Snipping tool... This is going to be like the perfect. All right, let's save this. We're probably going to miss a pick here, but we did not miss a pick. Zergo, I'll take all the one drops I can get. Goblin of Destiny. <laughs> all creatures are goblins now. Guys, look at this. Look at this amazing screenshot here. He's so angry. He's so angry. Grim Lava Mancer came back as well. So here's what I can do. You guys ready for this? <clears throat> I'm going to add an image here. I'll call it Big Mad. Frank's gonna be big mad today. That's what Katie calls it when I'm frustrated. She's like, oh, he big mad. There you go. Dang it, I'm moving all the things. Hold on, chat's going down here. Big Mad is going back up here. We can just put it at the top. There we go. That'll just be me now. This is just how the stream works. Can 
we get t-shirts with that image? I could definitely... I know I can get someone from stream. Maybe like Tim G. I could definitely get someone to make like... Uh, a cartoonized version of this. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the point is, guys, we have to get we have to get this. Oh, the Bomat Curry came back as like a last pick. Oh man, <coughs> I'm gonna die. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we can, oh, walking ballista late too. That's nice. I probably think I actually deliberately picked that guy, but look at all these one drops, man. I'm tempted to just play like take out all these five drops. <coughs> What if we cut all of the all the cards that are not like really cheap? And then we just play it like this. And then we'll add Ravages and Armageddon. And those are <laughs> <coughs> And then we can play Lotus and just play like mono one drops on turn one. I mean we can definitely born in Moonum. We don't have to have Moonum in our main deck. What? There's nothing behind me. Oh man, let's sort by current mana cost now. The problem is I think a lot of these are very good. I think I think three of these are very good. I think it's too cute to do that. I think Hazard's probably actually Hazard's probably not great in our deck because we're not gonna empty our hand as quickly if we're not playing. Uh, unfortunately Arcanist doesn't get super filthy in our deck with equipment. We only have Council's Judgment and Incinerate. But we can also pump it with Jitte. We can be like plus four, plus four. Recast <laughs> Ravages of War. That was, <laughs> that was some kind of weird hiccup amalgamation. Alright, so... Look at these one drops. One, two... Badger with the 20 gifted subs? Also, <clears throat> it's close to the end of the month, so I wanted to make sure I got some, some, uh, some sweet support in before the end of July. So, Badger, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, my dude. Thank you. 912. Jesus. Thank you. Badger, you're wild, my dude. Has Thank is you. more aggro, but has isn't going to do anything. I don't think has is going to be more aggro on our deck is the problem. Thank you. How many one drops is this? Like a bunch? I wish this guy wasn't white to up Thank to upgrade. You. It's like seven one drops. Wow, that's a lot. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. But I don't know. The point is, I'm I'm trying to cut down on these one drops. I also like Glorybringer. I think Glorybringer and Thundermaw are great for this Thank deck you. because of the aggression that they present. <sighs> Thank you. We are aggro. We are aggro. This is 26 cards, Thank too. You. What can we cut? We want we want one cut, I Thank think. Thank you. Signet does look cuttable. Thank you. Hmm. No, I think we're going to stick with four mana being the top. I think we're keeping Fiery and Ajani because they're both burn and and mana denial. <coughs> but I think we're going to play 16 lands. No. 14 lands. Mox Lotus. Thank you. Is Mox even good here? It doesn't cast any of these. Yikes. I don't even know if Mox Thank is good you. enough, dude. This deck is weird. <clears throat> Thank you. That's insane. <clears throat> Maybe we just cut the Ajani and just play it like this. Thank you. What's our mana? What's our colors looking like? Eh, it's actually pretty, pretty even. Yeah, 
Yeah, six seven seems perfect. So this is fifteen lands and a lotus. <clears throat> Yeah, the mock still does, like, that's the thing. The mock still does, like, it adds one for these, for these, and for these. <clears throat> I think it's only bad on one, but it does let us play, like, a turn two Blade Splicer or turn two Gravel Master. I agree, it does feel weird. I think we just add it as, like, a 17th. It's a 17th mana source, but, like, again, these are free and they're not, like, clogging up our hand as lands. I wonder if this is the deck. <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Badger, thank you for the gifted subs, man. That's wild. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> I'll keep this. Turn one, Kithian, and turn two. Jitte. If we draw Lotus, does that do anything? I don't know. Lotus for red. We get to play this guy on two plus this equip. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's actually... I don't know if that's good enough. Lotus, 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 it's a planes. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, I see what you're doing here. I, I see it. <clears throat> Shinala, have a good day at work, buddy. Red red card. Red card seems good. Let's get in there with Kithian. I'm sure they're going to play Primeval Titan next turn, so... I guess we have... Oblivion Ring. Chupacabra. All right. Big choops and another red card. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds. Sounds good. He big sad now. It's true. And sort of feast and famine. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's play that. Incoming stone forge misting on top of the deck. <coughs> Buddy. Sword of Feast and Famine could be great if we had a creature that we could equip it to. Black Lotus. Tithe Taker. You know what? I don't hate it. They gotta kill it twice. Okay, they killed it once. Let's see if they can kill it again. Show me one. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they can kill it twice, otherwise, they wouldn't have killed it once. They're going to play Necrotal. No, that doesn't work. I think they realized they're like, oh, dang, I can't. 
Yeah, no, no, no blocks, no blocks. Fallen Shinobi with the no. Okay, good. Okay, we're doing it. We're living the dream. The dream is alive. What are you gonna do? Trigon Predator doesn't do anything against my guy. I just want one more land so I can equip both, but they're not gonna give it to me. So. Dismember in response? No. Okay. Well. Well, we got... We're, we're living the dream. <clears throat> oh, but they have this guy now. That's worse. That's pretty bad. Yep, that is unfortunate. <sighs> yeah. Trigon Predator. That sucks. I, I forgot about the Trigon Predator being able to crack back and kill a sword. But it's probably because it's, again, it's uh, just like <clears throat> just like the last draft. I don't know if you guys watched that. Uh, it's turn six and we've hit three lands. So. And ironically, we actually have 17 sources of mana in this deck. No blocks. They hit three lands too, though. You know, I guess... You're, wow, they discarded a cryptic command? Holy shit, what are they playing? That's wild, man. Yeah, sure. You can have a miscalculation. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Red mana? Red spell. Similar but different. <laughs> Sounds good. No, don't level it up. Just kill a kill this bird for now. <clears throat> well, if we just attack with the student without pumping it, we also don't have four mana. So we couldn't attack, we couldn't attack, we can't, we can't re attack and re-equip. They are going to give us a land though, which is pretty wild. Oh yeah, give me that mountain. Take two. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's beat Karn, I guess. Sure. So do they have a miscalc in hand? Sure.
this student's going to be a big boy next turn. <clears throat> Nick, buddy, I love that you're actually stuck around and you're hanging out. That's hilarious. Oh, that's a cool sword, bro. If this is a land, I might actually Armageddon. It is not a land, but that card would be bonkers if we had a second red source. <sighs> like, almost like win the game bonkers. Oh, what's the new... I didn't, I didn't see the new Brainstorm art. Oh, this is a reprint art, though. Unless they have, like, a special f alternate art one, which I... You, said, you sounded sad when you said don't go. I, hey, man. I didn't want you to go. Like, if we wipe the board here, they have just these two in a Karn. I guess they could just make a lot of guys with a Karn. I can just be like two two three three four four. I mean if we draw a red source. Oh, they didn't actually oh that's interesting. Oh, and they're not equipping either. This is wild. Oh, are they just gonna oh wow, they're gonna what is this? Amazing. <laughs> oh boy. I've literally never seen that card played in a constructed match of magic. If it's not a red source, though, it's all for nothing. Of course, it's a red source. So we would have been able to actually play Fiery Confluence. Put them to three. End of turn, we would have Grim Lava Mansard. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. Cool. That's amazing. I, amazing. Right, but like the only way I'm doing back to back Lava Mancer to kill their blockers is if they're tapped out. <clears throat> but unfortunately, we're, we died because that's how attacking for five when we're at five works. I mean, we could have just blocked, but. Interesting. Also, next time we can play two guys. That's pretty good. Oh, 
Oh, I like that the alternate art brainstorm, the borderless brainstorm, is actually. Um, it actually has the rare symbol. That's great because a lot of times, like alternate art stuff, has the same rarity as the card itself, and you're kind of like, well, what? How how rare is this though? So the fact that like the like a common that has alternate art is actually the rare is you know its rarity is pretty sweet. <clears throat> I wonder what they got. Figure of Destiny, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. God, Daryl was not the good boy. I mean, they can't... They can't Toxic Deluge next turn. They can kill, like, one thing. Like, they can Assassin's Trophy Thalia or something. But I can't imagine a situation where... They, they actually just... I can't imagine a situation where we're not able to flip Kithian unless they kill Kithian. I'm just going to play the planes here because I want to keep... Oh, we just win the game. All right, cool. Like, we're going to flip this. This guy's going to be a 4 form. We're going to pump this guy once. But I, next turn, I want to be able to pump it, like, 5. And we don't need the red for anything yet. All right, well, that was... I kind of like Megas of the Moon here, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I feel like Bomat Bur 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 Courier is not great when they have Bitter Blossom, but. I mean, Megas didn't seem great in round one because they had a ton of. Um, basics. It looked like they were like forest, forest, swamp, island. But all right, a lot of lands. A clip for when you get bored and want to see some insane skateboarding. Joke's on you. I always want to see insane skateboarding. Oh, that's from July 22nd, too. That's actually, like, not even a week old. That's sweet. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Oh, that's interesting. go off there's not really a way I can go off here unfortunately to get trample flying in first strike
I actually kind of want to kill this, to be honest with you. I think it's a terrible use of mana. God, it's just such a bad use of mana. I'd rather just pump this guy now and then next turn Fiery Confluence the board. I think that feels better. And we still get to save our Lotus for like making this guy 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, it's going to do that. Chupacabra. They never don't have the Chupacabra. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on your Chupacabra. Congratulations, you had the Cabra. Chupa loopa doopa super doopy doop. Get in there. Do your job. Just block with fairy. Makes us pay three mana. Which we're going to do. It makes it indestructible, right? Yeah. Seems fine. Like, we already have enough mana to do anything in our deck, so Lotus into Fiery Confluence here seems pretty nice. We're going to deal two to everything? Yeah, let's go two to each creature, two to your face. Anyway... I guess we could have dealt two more if we did that first, right? That was that we did that backwards. We should have actually killed everything, and then attacked for two. Yeah. Well, got to kill that thing. Huh. I mean, I'm tempted to just Armageddon next turn and then play my land. Huh. The problem is they're not doing anything else. Why don't we play Goblin Guide? I'm so bad. I keep... Ugh. I locked myself into, like... I guess I don't want them to hit a land. I guess that's a perk. But I was like, maybe I just... I'll do this and see what happens. I mean, I think we're just holding this land. Sure. And see, this is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, this is why I, I hate Armageddon and Ravages of War. I just don't feel like they do anything. Like, this is a card in my hand that, like, if they're ahead on board even a little bit, you just lose. Like, that's it. That's the bottom line. Like, now we can never Armageddon because they will never be ahead of a Karn and a, and a Bitter Blossom. So it's just like, it's just a dead card. It sucks. I'm not a fan of these cards. I think it takes way too much effort to engineer situations where they're good. And they drill land. Mm -hmm. Give me more land, I guess. I have a feeling they will not be dying to fairies. And it's just my guess. Cool. 
I think it's fine in mono white, but again, I think it's completely dependent on the situation. It's like a situation where, like we're also giving them multiple lands and we just have Geddon in hand and it's like, all right, cool. Shark Typhoon. Yep. Yeah, we're just not going to win this game. We don't have Hellrider, so we can't draw him. Like, they have three lands in hand. They have more lands than we do. It's just like... I think it's to attack for five in the air next turn. Yeah, we're just not winning this game by any metric. I, I don't think Armageddon and Ravages are good. I think they actually suck. I'd much rather have stronger threats like a Johnny or, or Gideon or Hazaret. Like, I'd rather have cards that are going to affect the board positively rather than, like... If I'm way ahead and I end up playing a Ravages of War, cool. But, like... They just never work out for me. Like, I, I, I don't know, like... No, I think we picked something else. We picked a different four drop over it. Oh yeah, we did. We picked confluence over it. And I think that's. I definitely think that's the right pick. He rode off to hell without us. <laughs> Oh, God. Nicholas is a, like an American hero. What are we getting here? Against a red deck? It's probably Jete, right? Oh, my God. Everybody loves asking when Luigi's Mansion is. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe tonight? I don't think it's tonight. I don't think it's tonight. Katie has a bunch of work to do. Play Guido. So we could actually attack for three here and then just play Jete. I think that's got to be correct. Unless they have like Colagon's command. Yeah, we'll just keep this back. Don't hit, don't, don't hit a land. Mountain, you're welcome. I also don't want to like put too many guys on board in case they have damnation or like toxic deluge. Yep. And mana flare. Well, that's fascinating. Wow. See, now this is where Armageddon would be good. <laughs> like, hilariously good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. Hmm. Four. One. To save the red. Um, play figure. Equip hmm. to. Mm. 
Wheel of Fortune. Fascinating. Well, they get five mana, seven mana, not including any crazy rituals they have. Two little cuties on the bed. Yep. Okay. Thalia seems good here. So you have three mana. Frantic search would be probably the best thing you could hit. Kicker to one kicked one time. Fiery Confluence would be utterly insane here. That's not that's not a fiery confluence at all. How much can we deal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We're one mana shy of making this. <laughs> no, we're two mana because we have the Sapphire. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, right? That's we, we can kill them, right? This guy's gonna cost four. This guy's gonna cost three. Oh man, a flare! Wow, Nick, that is three. That is three, buddy. That is actually solidly impressive, man. I wonder if we have nine mana. This is gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and just the one from the Rabble Master. Or we can play it safer and go four, two, two. Four. We have nine mana. So four, five, six, seven, and we can play Thalia too, right? I think we just win. I think we can win here. So three, four, five. Thalia. Two, two. Um, Rob Laster. Four, four. Okay, we just win. <laughs> All right, yeah, so we'd have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen. It's exactly. All right. Uh, Dash Zergo's also fine. It doesn't matter. It's all we needed was exactly fifteen. Or the lands. They were all basics, right? Let's bring in Disenchant, take out Swords and Firebolt and Lightning Bolt. We'll bring in Armageddon and Ravages this time. <clears throat> Anything else that's pretty bad against, like, them? Is this MTG or Sesame Street? It's, you know it's, you know it's both, buddy. You know it's both. I think this is probably fine, right? Hmm. This hands this is interesting. This is interesting. I'm interested. <laughs> I 
Oh, shit. No. Wow. The turtle. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Fragged camper. I hope that's aggro enough for you, buddy. Free money story. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was Thanks. wild, man. Eric, thank you so much for the resub, man. Two years, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you. Definitely keeping this. I mean, even Lava Mancer, Dreadhorde, Arcanist, Needle Spirus on turn one isn't terrible. Firebolt, Firebolt. It's not terrible, but is it good enough? Hmm. Hmm. It's only two power. I don't even think flashing back Firebolt with Dreadhorde, Arcanist is that good. I'll save it. I don't think it's exciting. Oh god. If they thought sees us. Oh man, I would have been so sad. Oh see, that's much better. Oh good, they're gonna counter it. <sighs> oh, that's interesting. Created C2. Play a lava mancer. All right. Wow, that was interesting. Thoughtseize would have been offensive. So would, like, Force of Will or... So would Force of Will or Force of Negation off their, off their swamp. I would have been like, oh, really? Oh, man. That could be decent. Let's just attack for a thousand here. Okay, so there are blue creatures here. Land. Oh, baby! Could we kill them? How do we kill them here? One, two, three, four. Nine. I think that's lethal, right? Unless they have like a one mana thing. Are they dead? Oh, man. 
oh man we're doing it like they have multiple see like this is a situation they have multiple uh signets so this is a situation where i kind of just want to not bring in however we will bring in magus because i feel like that's got to be decent right wait <clears throat> all right i'm gonna wait for a second that guy said he was a big fan he did well the match isn't over yet so i wouldn't i wouldn't put too much stock in it there's still time Wake me up before you go down. Well, a red source would be great here. But short of that, I think we can probably find one, right? I'm going to give it a chance. I believe. Come on. Two windmills were chilling in chat and one asked the other what type of music you like. The other responds, I'm a big metal fan. It's Corbett Y. I'm just gonna call you Scorbit from now on. Red. That's a red card. Shut up and take my money. Yorion as your companion? <laughs> Nicholas how do we even do that do we have to have Yorion like do we have to like wow dude all right I'm writing it down good lord I hope we can do it red source you stupid idiot magic deck But you have to get it early, right? Like, you can't, like, take it in pack three. Otherwise, you're like, oh, well, I can't do this. Toxic Deluge for three, just to kill that dude. That's fascinating. I mean, any land here would be great. But 
but that would be a lot to ask for. Hmm. Keep in mind, just because we're playing an aggressive deck, we're playing the same amount of lands that we ordinarily would. I should say mana sources when it comes to cube. Yorion as your commander. Or companion, rather. Nick, you are a maniac. It is. It's almost every card. That's correct. Yeah, we'll just take this. Lion's Eye Diamond. And one card in hand? Fascinating. Here, I would just turn my Lion's Eye Diamond into a freaking 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we are 1-1 one, one and game up a game in game 2. God, Oko is such a ridiculous magic card. Why does it exist? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. You didn't want to block. Give me a land so I can just get rid of the Oko. Just one land. Thanks for nothing. Literally. Literally nothing. Eh, I guess we don't have to do that. It's not, it's not officially leveling, so... Let's get in there. So long, GTA. Oko, no Joko, as Nick and I know all too well. Interesting. I'm sure they're gonna make a three three here. Yep. Lotus would be pretty decent actually. We can do red. I mean Lotus would be pretty decent here is like the most obvious statement ever, right? Turn seven, two lands. This is like literally the fourth time this has happened today. Uh, I actually didn't see the oubliette printing with, with, with a wording on it. When oubliette enters the battlefield, target creature phases out until oubliette leaves the battlefield. 
tap that creature as it phases in this way. That's interesting. Why don't they just exile it? Why don't they just make it like an Oblivion Ring that comes in and play tapped? Oh, I guess it phases out because it keeps its auras and counters. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I mean, I'm just going to pass here because we can't do anything. So, you know, that makes sense. But when the most action in your hand is discarding cards... Or the most action in uh, in the game, I guess. We have more action in my hand. I just can't do anything with it, so. Yeah, obviously it needed a templating update. Like, there was no way the, the original wording was ever going to fly in 2020. This is unbelievable, dude. Turn eight, two lands. Unbelievable. Yep. Can't really go to six here. The problem with MCGO Joe is it is too random. I'm not touching that one. Yeah, another three drop. That's amazing. I like when people when hear when the people hear of uh, interesting animals like a lion elk, the first thing they think of is whether they would eat it or not. That's a pretty crazy thing, right? Like that just seems weird, right? Like it's funny because if I see an animal, if I'm like, if you said there was like an elephant rhino, I would be like, oh wow, that seems awesome. I'd really like to see how that looks, or you know, is it a predator? How does it? Of course, you don't think so. You said it. <laughs> That's, like, it's, fuck, I don't know, man, that seems weird to me that, like, the first thing, when you, when you hear of a living creature that exists, you're like, I'd eat that. That seems, that just seems weird to me. I mean, I don't know, the first thing I think is, wow, I wonder how it looks, I wonder if it's cool, I wonder, I wonder where it fits on the, the food chain, I wonder, like, you know, you know, the physiology of it, like, I don't know, I guess I, I guess I, I kind of, I kind of, I'm more fascinated by the, the creature's existence and, uh, how it lives rather than, how quickly I can kill it and put it in my mouth. Which just seems... So, I'm going to be honest, it almost seems psychotic to me. Check out Darwin. Good one. Oh man, he made... That was a good one. <laughs> you insulted me by... By referring to me as... Uh... Yeah, that's good. I mean, I think our deck is actually fine if we can just hit lands. Alright, well, try it again. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. Sure. Oh, what up, Chan Chan? Good seeing you, buddy.
I just think it's weird. I just think it's a weird thing that humans do where they're like, oh, I just want to taste that thing. Like, I don't know. Like, this is what's one of my bigger arguments about why I eat so, so little meat is that, like, I appreciate the animal existing more than I appreciate how it tastes to me. Like, it just doesn't, I don't know. And I know, like, the first thing people who love meat are going to do is give me shit about it, but I don't know. It's just me, I guess. Like, when I see an animal, the first thing I think is not how does it taste in my mouth for, you know, mere seconds. Like, I don't know. Like, I get it. Meat's good. You need, you need protein. You gotta eat something, right? I'm not, I'm not, I don't begrudge meat eaters. I just think this, like, really kind of, like, primitive visceral urge to, like, eat, like, all I want to do is eat a, a living thing as soon as I see it. It's just kind of weird to me. It's, it's kind of creepy. I'd eat a human. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know what their deck is. They have Lotus Bloom and Lion's Eye Diamond, but, like, we didn't see any Storm cards in two games, so, like, that's weird. Have you considered meditation for reals, though? I think your frustration might actually develop into psychological stress. I think people, for the most part, appreciate your point of view, but I don't think getting worked up over it is... I, I agree with you. I, I, don't, I, I think I've been really stressed out recently, so... Let's play this guy. This guy getting in? You gonna misdirect this guy? Am I gonna feel real bad for not playing the planes? Could <laughs> I take it in unarmed combat? Oh lord. Yikes. Well, you're welcome. There's a very small list of animals I can take in unarmed combat. <laughs> oh, Lord. Toxic Deluge for three. Yeah, they're at seven. They're at five. Give me a Black Lotus so I can go... All right, well, we can attack with Needle Spiders next turn. Think about it, like animals like deer are like all muscle. Here we go. Well, we had a good run. One, two again, guys. One, two again. Interesting. Well, if we can redraw that firebolt before we die. Or actually, if they just play two extra lands. And they were like, I could probably take a tiger. False. Absolutely false. Badger, five guys to come out to Australia? That's actually pretty exciting. Not only is it a great restaurant, but you're going to get tons of, tons of meme value out of it. 
Those people haven't been around even local fauna. It's probably true. So six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. So we go to four, but we're not dead. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Yeah. We're not dead, but they are now at eighteen. So that's that's cool. Black Lotus. Blade Splicer. Get in. Make a guy. Student warfare. <sighs> this is where they go. Snapcaster tendrils for two. Not, not feeling good. Not feeling good. Well, that's a thing, all right. Thief of Sanity, also a thing. In the land, Firebolt. Oblivion Ring, one, two, three, four, five. Does that do enough? Gets rid of this, we kinda wanna get rid of this, though. I think we can deal with this one more turn. One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of that. It's a five, five, so they're going to have to block with this. Yeah, let's do that. Or we just lose Oko. How are we still alive? Yep. Delicious. Making this a 3-3 three, three actually seems better than just playing random Grim Lava Mancer that uh, doesn't have any targets yet, so... All right. Signet. I have one card in hand. Make a three three, sure.
How does this keep happening? That's insane. That was your last card, dude? Come on. They have three mana, so they can't cast tendrils here. Yep, this is all fine so far. Jesus, what are you, what is even happening here? Do we have so much removal right now? We can actually tap down a black source to keep them off tendrils in the future. So what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We do have enough mana. 3, 4. So, Firebolt, you. Incinerate you. We can we can actually just attack Oko, keep up Council's judgment. Or we can play figure dread swords. Which is this? five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. I kind of just want to swords this guy. I don't think there's going to be a better target, so let's get rid of it. I don't want them to, like, draw cards next turn. that all right well they have one black source now they have both but if one of their cards is tendrils like the other two can't be that good like even if they go card card tendrils like it's only six <laughs> well that's mine's in there lion's eye and then tendrils They have tendrils. It's tendrils are the last card. That's hilarious. Wow. That's insane. I think they're dead. We just pumped this guy to seven, right? That's insane, dude. Eight, nine, ten. Wow, what a game. That's wild. I think they're dead.
This game was wild. They they managed to get us down to four with tendrils and then one with tendrils, thanks to a Johnny's three life. Wow. I think they're they're probably typing something right now. Oh man. A Johnny coming in. Why can't you let me send that? Jesus, how old is this program? You can't just let me send my message? Thank you guys for watching. 2-1 two, two, to the surprise of literally everyone. That's insane. Hopefully that's aggressive enough, man. We won with so many one drops. Thank goodness we can play another draft. Fragged Camper, hopefully that's aggro enough for you. Thank you for the stipulation and the support, buddy. I really, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankleport. Coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. Manatraders.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.